Tommy. A little early for you, isn't it? Joseph. They got you working days? Yeah. <laughs> Tyson, slow down. Everybody's dead. You got any more of this? No. <laughs> All right, where do you want to start? Well, I think we could skip the cause of death. Why don't we begin with his eyes? Your man has none. But they weren't in the radiator grill. No, no, I mean, he never had any. No optical fibers, no muscle pores, a zip. We did a toxicology on his blood, you know, looking for the usual, coke, booze, sugar. So what'd you come up with? High sodium, elevated erythrocytes, no floating cholesterol platelets, trace ammonia. What's so unusual about that? Hmm? Nothing. Nothing. Actually, it's pretty common for an aborted fetus. Fetus? We also did a bone section. Don't thank me. Wasn't much trouble. Most of them were sticking out of his chest anyway. Okay, and? When a baby grows, their bones get larger by having calcium layers form over the interior Habersham Canal. Are you with me? I'm with you. Now, this leaves growth rings. Everybody's got them, except our pal here. Oh, and this is for you. He's also hermaphrodite. Oh! He's got both male and female sex organs. Think of the possibilities. Yeah. You can be impotent and frigid all at the same time. They don't normally work. We found this in the lining of his coat. It's an old Bible. Yeah. Handwritten. Beautiful, really. See this symbol? Matches a scar on his neck, exactly the same. That's attractive, huh? Anything else? It's a velvet bookmarker. Cute. What is it? 23rd chapter of St. John's Revelations. And? There is no 23rd chapter. Well, maybe this is the teacher's edition. Can I keep this? Sign for it. What are we going to do here, Tommy? Do me a favor, just sit on it for a couple of days. Give me a head start before the wolves start circling, okay? Take your time. <laughs>